This is the Benlander Report. We're here with uh, University's football head coach, Travis Wilson. We're in his office today, so we're on the road. Well, Coach, the football season is upon us. We welcome back 21 players from last year. That experience has to be a benefit for the program this year. Yeah, you know, having returners is always a big plus for us. Um, you know, we have a lot of guys. I um, mean, you know, all that 21, I think everybody got some uh, playing time. I mean, we got four seniors who all had pretty good playing time. So, you know, we got an ex you know, experienced bunch group, uh, which I feel excited about. Uh, these are my thoughts, Coach. You can tell me if I'm wrong, which I probably will be, but we never know. Uh, we lose our quarterback, but we have some solid players back at the other positions. You know, Kenny Kujaba or Kujaba. Kujaba, I got that yeah. one right. Um, top receiver for us last year. We've got some solid running backs and other receivers back. Uh, we've got a bigger line. I think we'll be fine on the offense. Defensively, we do lose all MIAA pick Dylan Huckstead, which is going to be a big loss. However, I think we have strong returners in Marvin Anthony, Dave Carlson, and Ronnie Keener, and we're going to be more balanced and spread out. I feel that we actually will be more balanced because of that. Yeah, you know, the linebacker room does take, you know, uh, we did have an all-league player. You know, Dylan Huckstead is actually on our coaching staff now, and I'm really excited to keep Dylan in the program. Uh, but there's a lot of good group of uh, young guys in that room, as well as some veterans. You know, uh, Charles McDonald's in that uh, mix, and he played last year as well. You know, I think the linebacker room is going to be very strong for us this year. Um, the same with the D-line. You know, we have some good D-linemen returning. You know, David Carlson and uh, Ronnie Keener, you know, those are very good uh, players for us. Um, you know, and offensively, you know, up front, we're going to be, uh, you know, there's going to be one new face on the offensive line, which is nice. You know, it's nice. It's good for the offensive line to have that congruity uh, growing forward. Uh, you know, and Kenny, you know, Kenny was, uh, he was our offensive player of the year last year. Um, you know, we're really looking forward to him taking that next jump uh, for us here. And we got some nice backs coming, you know, and, uh, you know, a new quarterback is named Darren Johnson, and Darren Johnson is going to be a, a great player for us uh, with his feet, so uh, as well as his arms. So I'm really excited to see what we're going to put uh, on the field on Saturday offensively. So speaking of Saturday, we take on a familiar opponent, Concordia, Wisconsin. The Falcons had a strong year last year at 7-3. and three. They've got their top rusher back, three of their top four receivers. However, they do lose the quarterback, Aaron Nixon, who threw for almost 2,600 yards, and their top receiver, Josh Sanders, who had 56 catches for nearly 900 yards. And on defense, they have their top three tacklers back, led by Dwayne Rackard, who had 96. So what are the thoughts there coming into this first game? Yeah, they had a really strong year last year. Um, they took second in the league. Um, and we played the first and the second ranked team out of the NAC last year. Um, both were great opponents. And, um, you know, uh, Concordia, they're going to be strong. They're going to be probably a similar kind of offensive attack where uh, the quarterback's going to be a good rusher as well as a good passer. Um, you know, they have a wide receiver, uh, number one. He's really quick and shifty guy. we got to take care of him on game day. Uh, you know, defensively, number 10 there, uh, Rackard, uh, he played against us last year, and he's a, uh, he's, a, he's a big boy that plays linebacker, and he's a pretty good football player. Um, you know, and we got to do a good job up front to slow him down and have a successful day on Saturday, so. So, Coach, the first game is going to be a little bit of a weird one. You'll be the only person who have been to every single Finlandia game now that Dylan Huxted and Tyler Kangas are gone. How do you feel about holding that record all by yourself? <laughs> you know, uh, you know, as I uh, go through the years, you know, there's been, uh, you know, I, I enjoy being that consistency for the Finlandia football program. Uh, you know, I take a lot of pride in it. Um, you know, and it, it'll be, uh, you know, my, I got an entire new staff and I'm looking forward to their first game as Finlandia Lions and we have a lot of freshmen out there getting a chance to be the, you know, their first game as a Finlandia Lion. It should be a really exciting day. Coach, we want to thank you for taking your time out of your busy schedule to be with me today. Um, we wish you the best of luck on Saturday and throughout the season. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Finlandia Report brought to you by the Sports Information Office. Swing that hammer.